they called it an act of remembrance that the relatives of those killed while serving in Northern Ireland never forget. Angeline McTeer understands the sacrifice. Her husband John, a prison officer, was shot dead by the IRA 30 years ago. His young sons never got to know him and he was a wonderful man. And that was a long time ago. I'm here today to thank the security forces for trying their best to help us in Ireland to come to a peaceful solution. And it hasn't been easy. They did their best. The Troubles claimed 3,500 lives. Operation Banner, the military response, lasted longer than anticipated, 38 years. British troops deployed to Northern Ireland to restore law and order in 1969. Initially, Catholics were relieved to see them. We believed that they were there to protect us and everything was going to be OK. Joan Connolly welcomed the soldiers, but in 1972, she and ten others were shot dead by the Parachute Regiment in Ballymurphy. Our loved ones were innocent. We know they were innocent. We need the world to know they were innocent. Because if we don't get them declared innocent, who else is going to do it? I don't want to hand this down to my children. Like, I've spent the last 20-odd years fighting this campaign take pushing and pushing and pushing. So I hope it ends with me. The DUP leader says every victim is entitled to justice, but she believes historical investigations are skewed against military veterans. I do think there's a disproportionate, uh, if you like, uh, investigative role in terms of those who served here because, of course, 90% of the people who died in Northern Ireland were murdered by terrorists, by terrorists from uh, the Republican side and, indeed, from the Loyalist side as well. And those are the people who should be brought to justice. Operation Banner, the longest deployment of British troops, has been succeeded by a seemingly endless attempt to address the past. David Blevins, Sky News, in Lisburn.